working with graphics. MS Word 2010 provides many graphical tools such as smart art, shapes, screenshots, etc. This helps to make the document impressive. Inserting a picture. Adding pictures to your document can be a great way to illustrate important information and add decorative accents to the existing text. Step 1. Place the insertion point where you want the image to appear. Step 2. Select the Insert tab on the ribbon, then click the Pictures command from the Illustrations group. Step 3. The Insert Picture dialog box will appear. Navigate to the folder where your image is located, then select the image and click Insert. Step 4. The image will be inserted in the document. To resize the picture, Step 1. Select the picture which you want to resize. Step 2. Click and drag one of the corner sizing handles. The image will change size while keeping the same proportions. If you want to stretch it horizontally or vertically, you can use the side sizing handles. To crop the picture, when you crop an image, part of the picture is removed. Step 1. Select the image you want to crop. The Format tab will appear. Step 2. From the Format tab, click the Crop command in the Size group. Step 3. Cropping handles will appear on the sides and corners of the image. Click and drag any handle to crop the image. Step 4. To confirm, click the Crop command again. The image will be cropped. The corner handles are useful for simultaneously cropping the image horizontally and vertically. Inserting Shapes You can add a variety of shapes to your document, including arrows, callouts, squares, stars and flowchart shapes. To add shapes to your document, follow the given steps. Step 1. Select the Insert tab. Then click the Shapes command in the Illustrations group. A drop-down menu of shapes like lines, rectangles, basic shapes etc. will appear. Step 2. Let's say you want to create a banner. Point to the stars and banners and select the ribbon, curve and title down. Step 3. The cursor will change to plus. Click and drag in the desired location to add the shape to the slide. Adding text in a shape. Step 1. Right click on the shape and select Add Text from the shortcut menu. Step 2. The insertion point appears inside the shape. Now you can type the text. To change the shape fill color, you can change the shape's fill color by following these steps. Step 1. Select the shape you want to change. Step 2. On the Format tab, click the Shape Fill drop-down arrow. Select the color you want to use. To view more color options, select More Fill Colors. Step 3. The shape will appear in the selected fill color. To change the shape outline, Step 1. Select the shape you want to change. Step 2. On the Format tab, Click the Shape Outline drop-down arrow. The Shape Outline menu will appear. Step 3. Select the color you want to use. If you want to make the outline transparent, select No Outline. Step 4. The shape will appear in the selected outline color. From the drop-down menu, you can change the outline color, weight, thickness and whether it is a dashed line. Inserting Smart Art To insert some Smart Art illustrations, follow the steps. Step 1. Place the insertion point in the document where you want the Smart Art graphic to appear. Step 2. From the Insert tab, select the Smart Art command in the Illustrations group. Step 3. A dialog box will appear. Select a category on the left. Choose the desired Smart Art graphic. 
then click OK. Step 4. The Smart Art graphic will appear in your document. Enter text next to each bullet in the text pane. The text will appear in the corresponding shape. It will be resized automatically to fit inside the shape. Inserting Word Art The Word Art feature helps edit and format text. To insert Word Art, follow the given steps. Step 1. Click Insert tab. Step 2. Click Word Art button in the text group. A drop-down menu will appear. Step 3. Choose one of the images from the drop-down menu. Each contains a letter A drawn in a word art style. Step 4. Click the option you have chosen. A new text box will appear in the slide containing the message your text here in the style that you choose. Step 5. Replace the sample text with the text that you want. Then drag the text box to place the text where you need it. Step 6. Select the text and click on Text Fill drop-down arrow in the Word Art Styles group on the Format tab. Select the desired color and observe the change. Step 7. Similarly, outline color and text effect can be changed by using Text Outline and Text Effects option. Adding a text box. Text boxes can be useful for drawing attention to a specific text. They can also be helpful when you need to move text around in your document. Step 1. Select the Insert tab, then click the Text Box command in the Text group. Step 2. A drop-down menu will appear. Select Draw Text Box. Step 3. Click and drag anywhere on the document to create the text box. Step 4. The insertion point will appear inside the text box. You can now type to create text inside the text box. You can resize the text box. Step 5. If you want, you can select the text and then change the font, color and size by using the commands on the format and home tabs. Step 6. Click anywhere outside the text box to return to your document. You can also select one of the built-in text boxes that have predefined colors, fonts, positions and sizes. If you choose this option, the text box will appear automatically, so you will not need to draw it. Applying Styles a style is a predefined combination of font style, color, and size that can be applied to any text in your document. It gives a more polished look to the text. To apply built in styles, follow the given steps. Step 1 Select the text you want to format or place your cursor at the beginning of the line. Step 2 In the Styles group on the Home tab, click the More drop down arrow. Step 3. Select the desired style from the drop-down menu. Step 4. The text will appear in the selected style. To apply a style set. Style sets include a combination of title, heading and paragraph styles. Style sets allow you to format all elements in your document at once instead of modifying each element separately. Step 1. Click the Change Styles command in the Styles group on the Home tab. Step 2. From the drop-down menu, select Style Set. Step 3. Select the style set you want to apply. The change will be reflected in the entire document. 